This is Jake Schwartz for another edition of Voice of Reason. Day two of the Julius Irving Classic, better known as the Dr. J Golf Classic, comes to you live from the Logan Hotel. Now, this today is September 9, 2018, and whenever uh, fans have the chance to see this, to note that it was awesome. It was a wonderful event as we are getting you set to go for the celebrity edition of the Dr. J Golf Classic, better known as the Red Carpet. We'll be uh, back again. We'll be actually rolling for most of the night as we are here at the Logan Hotel. Celebrities are set to mingle. We'll see them sir, in a few moments. Keith Byers again here with us, the great Philadelphia Eagle. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, doing good. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs> it's great to see you, and indeed a good day to be an Eagles fan, if I may say so myself. A what a what a start to the season again. Seemed like deja vu all over again January. You're back here again at the fourth annual Dr. J Golf Classic. Julius Irving, what can you say about him? Well, he's a class act. He's one of my first, you know, not to age him too much, but my first childhood oh, yeah. basketball hero was uh, definitely yes. Dr. J. Keith Byers here at the Dr. J Golf Classic here at Logan Hotel. Thank you, sir. Thank you very and much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Winky Wrights, the world-renowned boxing sensation. Winky, how are you, sir? I'm good, I'm good. First of all, Jake Schwartz, voice of reason, the future of world podcasting, if I may say so myself. <laughs> sir, congratulations. You've had a phenomenal career in boxing. Tell us about Julius Irving and his foundation. Definitely. Doc doing a great thing. So, you know, anything I can do to help out, I'm here to do. Yeah, tell us uh, what you're doing. Are you still boxing these days? No, I'm not boxing. I'm just playing a lot of golf, enjoying life, you know, having fun. You know, I've been boxing for so long, you had to take some time off to let this body heal. And tonight again here at the Julius Irving Golf Classic with, of course, your significant other. It's, it could not be a better time of night, even on a rainy night. Winky, congratulations on a great career. It's good to have you on here on Voice of Reason. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Thank Jake Schwartz again here at the Logan Hotel with Winky Wright. Yes, good to see you. We actually had you on about two years ago on Voice of Reason. You actually to told you me again. you told me again that I used to be a lot taller. Well, you used to. <laughs> oh, that's why I grow inside. That's what age does for you. Tell us about Julia serving. Julia's a great, you know, a great, great young man. Like I said, if you know, as a kid growing up, you never thought about, you you, you never thought about uh, that Julia Irving is going to be one of your best friends one day. As a kid, you watching him do his thing, oh, yeah. and you admire him, and but yet to live and have opportunity to not just support what he does, but yet to be a, a friend is just, you know, something that's amazing. So, if, but, if, but I have a yes. lot of appreciation for what, what he does and what he done. I had a great appreciation for you, 1986 world champion with the Chicago Bears. Tell everybody what you're doing these days and where you're living. Uh, I'm still in Chicago. Yes. I'm in the energy business. I'm in the artificial intelligence and, uh, and uh, AI space right You now. look fantastic as always. And I see your lovely wife, of course, is here. How are you? Jake Schwartz, voice of reason. And again, uh, tonight could not be a better night, even if on a gloomy type of Sunday, September night. We certainly hope that you'll enjoy this event because this could be the future of, of what could be a great golf type outing. Well, I look forward to that, and people should come out and support you know, what, what Julie's all about. Thank you. Jake Schwartz with Hall of Fame sensation, defensive end, Richard Dead. Richard, so good to see you as always. You Jake First Schwartz. off, I never thought I'd ever shake the hand of one of, no, the greatest <laughs> shortstop sensation, Ozzie Smith. How are you, Ozzie? I'm doing great. How are you? Great to have you on here on Voice of Reason. First and foremost, He's wearing, let's, Mike, can we get a shot at the tie? The guy, he's wearing the pinstripes, <laughs> just like his old Cardinal type of days. What a phenomenal career you had. How long have you known Julius Irving? I've been known Julius uh, 15, 20 years, and um, he was uh, gracious enough to um, be my guest at one of my tournaments and stuff, so um, I'm reciprocating. Well, it doesn't surprise me because I've always heard the stories of some of my friends that I know that you've always been somebody who loves to give back to the community. And hopefully someday I'll be coming to your golf outing someday. Are you still currently living in St. Louis? Yes, that's home right now. And uh, What are you doing now? I'm uh, doing a little bit of everything. Yes. I, uh, I own a uh, pain management clinic where we do PRP, uh, stem cell, and everything. I'm a baby boomer, so we're yes. always... We're fighting aging, you know. We're you fighting. look fantastic, by the way. I, I'm telling you, I still think you could play shortstop, though. How many years officially time you were in the league? I was in the league 19 years, but if I played today, I'd probably only play two innings and I'd be tired. Yeah. Uh, the event itself, again, four years now. Do you feel like this could be the future of, of what could be a great golf event for many years to come? Well, certainly. I think anytime you associate yourself with someone like Dr. J, who yeah. um, ha has had such an impact on sports as a whole, um, it's, he's a great human being, and, and, and giving back is part of what 
what great players understand, and he's certainly one of those players. P.S. I'm sorry about the strikeout to Brendan Fraser in the movie The Scout. I'm not only teasing. You remember that? I love that, but one of my all-time favorites, Jake Schwartz again with the Hall of Famer, Ozzie Smith, the Wizard of Oz, here at the Julius Irving Golf Classic. Ozzie, congratulations on a great career. Always nice to have you. All right, thank you. Jake Schwartz again, here again with the Wizard himself, Ozzie Smith. State the man formerly known as Reggie Theus, now known as Reggie. How are you, brother? Good to see you. Great to see you, sir. Reggie Theus here on another edition of Voice of Reason. Reggie, uh, great night again. Four years and counting. We're back at it once again. And, and we don't see each other in the AAU anymore. Well, you know, I'm not going to coach this year, so I might oh, be doing some television, and we'll see what happens. Well, you know, every time we get together, we always have so much fun talking talking shop and basketball. How are you doing these days, and are you still living in California? California's 80 degrees in California, by the way. Yes. You know, it's nice. It's, it's uh, close but to the rain. It's got to be, right? That's yeah. because we, that's why we pay for that much money to live there. Tell us about Julia Serving. You know what? There's no words. I go back to my rookie year with Doc, and where he used to just, he never called me Reggie, he just called me Rook. Oh, did he now? Yeah, that's what he called me. I'll never forget this quick, quick story. I stole the ball from Dr. J my rookie year at half court. By the time I got to the free throw line, I was so enamored that I stole the ball that he ran me down and stole it back. Yeah, that, because that sounds like something that, that the man would do, and uh, are you enjoying life these days? Are you happy? Yeah, no, yeah. But listen. you don't get to see the voice anymore. That you know what, that, that does taint my life. That has to change. Well, you we know, have listen, to get together. you have to make sure it happens. We will do that, though. What's uh, going on with you? Well, uh, first off, I'm still the voice. 14 year, 14th season in high school and college basketball. I've never been happier. 14 years. I tell myself that every single day when I wake up, you, though. You hug, your, <laughs> you hug yourself and pat yourself I'm going to miss back. a Jewish holiday for this, and I love every minute every of it. Every day. Though. You know, I like Jewish holidays in, in and California. And we'll be going to services in the morning. Well, because then there's no traffic. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> Jake Schwartz again here with Reggie Theus. It's so good to see you as always. First of all, it's good to have you back here on Voice of Reason. We, we've had you uh, at the uh, drive for autism, our good friend Artie Kepner. No, it means a lot because uh, I, my, I have a nephew that teaches autism yes. and uh, it, it affects so many people in so many different stages and so forth. So uh, it's important and uh, like at every other cause, you know, just to put some, something into it. You and I have certainly a lot common. We both are journalists for over, I've been 14, you've been close about three to four maybe even five decades Decade now and you of course were the wife of the great Don Drysdale tell everybody what you're doing these days I'm a vice president with the Phoenix Suns and Mercury and oh. I broadcast for both teams both the NBA yes. and the WNBA and uh, so I do a lot of community service work and public relations and also go out and speak and uh, certainly have an opportunity to come back here and play in the golf tournament tell us about Julia serving another another Philadelphia resident I guess you could say at least for 15 years well I've known Julia since the 70s yes. and uh, my brother David played against Julius uh, my brother David went to UCLA and played in the NBA yes. for the Milwaukee Bucks and uh, so certainly through that relationship but I had played in a tennis tournament the Doers tennis tournament back in Vegas and so a bunch of us got together and families and so forth and uh, Julius has been my big brother he wrote the foreword to my book really you let some girl beat you yeah. And oh, uh, so he's he's always been there for me. Well, Ann, as always, I know that you've got somewhere to be. We're going to let you go. Ann Myers Drysdale, the wonderful journalist, and now working with the Suns, the Mercury, you name it, she's doing it. Ann, always good to see you, and your daughter is always, and we'll catch up. Jermaine Jason. Jones, welcome to Voice of Reason. It's so good to see you. We've been wanting to have you on for months now. Really? Uh, well, we finally got you here, and let's talk about the, this is the Julius Irving Golf Classic, four years and strong. How happy are you to be here? I'm very excited. Uh, it's funny. I just actually found out that the event was this weekend so really? I was pretty excited to hear about it. We still see you around helping out the youngsters in the high school world. Tell us what you're doing these days. Uh, you know I do a little work with the Sixers youth program. Yes. Uh, that's pretty much it. Getting out in the community. Showing my faces. Helping out to you. First and foremost you look fantastic by the way. Julia Serving Golf Classic. Your thoughts on the doctor? Uh, well first of all I mean he's an icon. Uh, someone that had a, a, a huge influence on my basketball career, you know, and as a youngster and, and me gravitating towards the game of basketball, you know, and I'm very thankful that we have a, a friendship where uh, I can confide in him and, yeah. and pick his brain, you know, but more importantly, support his initiative, you know, and this is something that um, that he's invited me to come down and support. and. Uh, and uh, as long as my schedule is, yes. is open, I'm, I'm here to support him. He's done a tremendous job with creating a great atmosphere, 
um, through the Salvation Army from helping young people. And we love seeing you. Alonzo Morning here, the, the should say Vice President of Player Personnel, and of course the great Heat, Zoe himself, Alonzo Morning. Thank you again. As always. Thanks for having me. Alonzo Morning, one of my favorite guests. We haven't seen each other since Quite the uh, passing of the Rasul Butler at uh, the Rasul Butler funeral. What a great man he was. But we want to talk about uh, somebody that's a dear friend in our heart, the Dr. Julius Irving. Your thoughts on this event? I mean, it's unreal. I, it's, I grew up, it's funny, I'm from Ohio, but I grew yes. up a uh, Philadelphia 76er fan you because did. of Dr. J. You did. Tried to emulate the Afro. I wanted to play like Dr. J. And also, like one of my favorite sports movies, Fisher, The Fisher Say Pittsburgh. Yes. And he played Moses Guthrie. Yes, so, of course. To me, to be able to not only be here, but work with him in the big three, to develop a relationship, I mean, that's a childhood hero of mine. I mean, a true ambassador of the game. So. I'm just happy that I was invited. But, we got to keep it moving. It's all for Doc because of what he's done, not only for the yes. city of Philadelphia, yes. but what he's done for the NBA. I've gone over my mark. Jim Jackson, right, as bro. always, Jake Schwartz here with the great Jimmy Jackson. You Thank it. you, Jim. Sure. Hello, everybody. Jake Schwartz again here at the Logan Hotel. And, of course, the man himself is back with us for the second time and his lovely wife, Doris Julius, the doctor, Irving. I can't do it, Dave Zinkoff. I've, I've, I've done too many of that. How are you, sir? I'm imitated, never duplicated, right? Yep, that is true. He was my hero growing up. How are you, how are you sir? Special guy, doing doing well. I can't wait to get inside. You know, very excited about uh, the Irving Classic continuing after Community Day yesterday and going into our gala portion. And uh, the, the featured hostess for the gala is my wife, Maurice. Hello, Doris. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. So good to have her right there beside. Four years and counting. What can you say about how much this has grown? Well, it's grown by leaps and bounds. And I think the uh, the quality of the talent here, in terms of the celebrity talent, uh, has increased. But the local support has been, just been tremendous, and uh, you know we're just we're just looking for to more of the same, so that we can benefit the Salvation Army, grab a ball and play, and other ch uh, charities, including Defy, which is Doris's charity. We definitely are impressed. Voice of Reason is so thankful to be here again. Go inside, have a good time, Julius and Doris Irving. It's so good to see you both here on another issue. Of Voice the opportunity to share with your audience. Thank you, sir, Julius. Right. Nice to go. see you both again, as always. The lovely Siva Sedaker, fashion honest right. expert, <laughs> yes, and golf cool. expert Jay Harris. You can catch him every morning on ESPN, folks. You are the two co, one of the many co-hosts of the Dr. Jay Golf Classic. Siva, we had a wonderful time yesterday at the clinic. How much fun have we had so far here this weekend? I mean, it's just getting started. Um, we're in the middle of the week. We've got tomorrow. We're hoping the weather holds yes. up for us. But, um, Fingers crossed. Yes. You know, it's always a great time to come back and support Salvation Army and, you know, just celebrate the legend, you know, yes. Mr. Julius Irving. Irving. So, what does he do? What does he do? How well does he do it? Oh, I mean, there's there's no words for that. He is... He's Dr. He's, J. He's yes. Dr. J. Yeah. Yes. He's an icon. He's, he's style and grace. Yeah. He's everything the guys do today. Yes. He set the tone. Yes. Yes. Well, we definitely uh, know you've got to be inside. Siva Sedaker, Jay Harris, so good to see you both again. Yeah, and this uh, woman here, by the way, is inspirational woman and also the mother of one of my favorite players I have ever worked with over the years, Kevin Durant. Wanda Durant, it's so good to see you as always. Thank you. We haven't seen each other in a few years. It's been a while. It's yes, been a while. I actually met you when I first started working for the Classic Play-by-Play Network okay. uh, for Jeremy Treatment. And Kevin absolutely adores Jeremy. So whenever Jeremy goes to L.A., he calls Kevin up and says, uh, Kevin, can you come out and talk to the kids, even if, if it's for a couple of minutes? Um, your thoughts on this event and, and, and what it means uh, just to be a part of it? Well, first of all, you know that Dr. J is a legend in the community and in the NBA world. And um, to be a part of his give back to ensure that every kid has a ball, no matter what sport they like, is always a treat and always a part of our responsibility. And the um, Salvation Army, that goes without saying. Yes. Um, they've helped so many for over so many years. And so just to be welcomed and invited to such an event, I'm honored. And we are here with the general manager of Delta, one of the many sponsors of the Julie Serving Golf Classic, Vaughn Campanella. How are you, Vaughn? Great to be here tonight. It's a wonderful evening. It's great to talk to you, and uh, we want to get at least your take. Uh, we've had some great celebrities again that are inside here at the Logan. Uh, they have an opportunity. You have an opportunity. Sponsors have an opportunity. What makes this any night other than any other night, I guess? Well, Delta is a, is a huge believer in giving back in the communities that we serve. And uh, Philadelphia is very important. While it's not a major hub for Delta Airlines, it's a major, major uh, important market for us. And we love to give back in the community in Philadelphia and all the other markets that we serve. What can you say about the doctor? He is a legend, absolute legend. And uh, we, we love to, to uh, 
celebrate success and, and be with partners like Dr. J and it's great to be a part of this tonight. He's the perfect example and that's why we want to be a part of, of uh, tremendous events just like this. Delta Airlines actually gives back 1% of our earnings great. to uh, all the communities that we serve, and then that's why we're here tonight. Are you, so you definitely are thrilled to be a part of something like this. Couldn't be happy. It was a rainy night, but a great night, and certainly for a great cause, that the stars were out and shining here at the Logan Hotel in Philadelphia for the fourth annual Dr. J Golf Classic. Yesterday was a great event where thousands of children flocked the Sixers training facility and Dr. J, Brett Brown of the 76ers, voice of the Sixers, Matt Cord, David Hawkins and Lynn Greer, members of the Temple Basketball and Philadelphia Basketball community were on hand to lend underprivileged children a helping hand. And Julius Irving has certainly made himself the man that he is. He deserves it. He's a showman. We have unbelievable respect for him. And we hope to see everybody back here at the fifth annual Dr. J Golf Classic. The event is officially in the books. And from all of us here at the Logan Hotel, I'm Jake Schwartz for Voice of Reason. We'll see you at the games.